Good morning, everyone. I am here with um, one of our affiliates with a First American Home Warranty, Rebecca. I'm going to let you introduce yourself, Rebecca. Hello, everyone. Yes, like Joe said, I am Rebecca with First American Home Warranty. I am a sales rep, so I get to visit Joe as often as possible. I'm here to educate, help, assist, and answer any questions. And I'm so excited that Joe has such a loyal audience. And I was just honored to receive the invitation and opportunity to chat with you guys. So I'm here today. So this is part of my Morning Cup of Joe series, which usually I'm trying to get it done on Thursday mornings. But it seems like we're all having scheduling issues and everything like that. So we're doing a little different today. But working towards the future, my intention is to do Morning Cup of Joe series live on Thursday mornings. But stay tuned because... I'm still working on that. <laughs> so Rebecca uh, obviously works for a home warranty company and she comes in our office all the time. I actually use her and her predecessor quite often, uh, exclusively I will say. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> uh, so what I wanted to talk about is what is home warranty and what does it mean to, well, to the general population? Why, what is it? Okay. Um, well, I always like to say that I wish I knew what home warranty was when I was little. I remember one year where we had so many things under the roof because it was leaking and my father had to pay out of pocket. So home warranty is a service, is an optional service doing a transaction that can assist you with any um, repairs that might be needed with a home where a failure appears. We work with gas, water, and electricity and the items in your home that use those items. So like a water heater, it uses gas and water, dishwasher, electricity and water. So it's not home insurance. That's more of like the structure, the walls, windows, the floors and doors. I um, assist with what runs through it. And I'm here to help you offset the cost. So instead of you paying 17,000 for a new AC that needs to be craned in to apply to your roof, you can spend more like five or 6,000 and that's where we step in. And then I've actually seen where a homeowner had a lot less out of pocket because of how much coverage was applied. It was less than $2,000. So so you mentioned transaction. Mm -hmm. So when she says transaction, she's referring to a real estate transaction. Yes. So most of the time when we use home warranty as a real estate agent and a home warranty company, it's within the transaction or an escrow. And part of the... Um, the contract involves uh, the seller. I represent the seller. Mm -hmm. The seller is paying for the home warranty person to be a company that provides the home warranty. And that's usually for a year, right? Yes, exactly. From the close of escrow. Yes, we do have an opportunity where you can have it for up to two years. Um, but yes, it would be, it's normally, it's typically one full year. Um, when you are going through a transaction, we have what's just a regular order. Um, but I know that Joe is connected with a lot of the community and he's received the question recently, what can I do if I'm not buying or selling my home, but I'm also interested in home warranty, like that would totally benefit me. And that's amazing. We actually have what's called the realtor friends and family pricing. So as long as you know, Joe, you let him know, he sends the information to me and I will personally put in the request to get you home warranty under his, what's called the realtor friends and family pricing. But well, what if they don't know me? Can anybody come and buy home warranty? They can. They can. We do have a national um, rate. Um, it's a little bit, I would say, cheaper <laughs> if they do know a real estate agent and connect directly with me. Um, yeah, the national rate is as competitive, but if you want to get just as close to the escrow cost as possible when someone going through escrow gets home warranty, the most competitive one is then the realtor friends and family. And so you definitely do want to have a connection with someone. Cool. So let's talk about plans. I know there are several different plans. Yes. So um, the plans that we have, they they begin with basic and basic will never go away. That is, I call it the stone age of basic. That's like how everything began and we've only built from there. Um, when I speak to Joe, there's a few questions I ask and that's how I build the plan. So here's my little cheat sheet and I, you're not gonna be able to see closely, but he'll have the link for the digital copy of this. Um, and so there's the basic, this middle green one, I ask, does the home have AC? Long Beach is a really tricky place, right? We have some places that don't have AC because they're so close to the water, and then we have some that do. So I ask him, does it have AC? And then my final question is, do you want to cover washer, dryer, refrigerator? Like I said, certain things in the kitchen are already covered, the dishwasher, built-in microwave, but then I'm asking, 
washer, I'm sorry, dishwash, sorry, <laughs> the washer, dryer, and kitchen refrigerator. And that's how we build the plan originally. So that's the basic plan. Those, those are those the items. basic bundles, yes. Mm -hmm. So what is that plan? Refer is that the basic plan? So This is basic. And yeah. then we have the two bundles depending on AC and washer, dryer, refrigerator. Um, and Joe ca calls it the basic. Even if we bundle it, that's still the lower one. At the very bottom, we've added new coverages that are, I think, revolutionary. Um, during the pandemic, we came in and added some new coverages that helped the homeowner for out of pocket. We knew that it, money was a lot tighter. Um, and because your appliances weren't getting that eight to 10 hour break during the day, you weren't going to work. So you were at home using the, the oven. You were using the washer a lot more often. Um, things were breaking. And so people had a lot more out of pocket costs. And so now we have additional coverages. So what about uh, who pays for the plan? Well, it's common that the seller does. Um, um, but I know during the pandemic, buyers were really trying to get their deals accepted. And so they w wanted to have that edge, you know, that cutting edge offer and they would pay for it. But I, I, in, in the normal market, which we're entering into, the seller most often pays for it. You and, just request it. And there is there is a, a thought mm -hmm. that, you know, again, if I'm representing the seller, normally the seller will pay for the home warranty. But who chooses the home warranty? And see, I as a real estate agent want to choose the home warranty because obviously I want to make sure that I help my, my affiliates that are providing me with home warranty. But honestly, if I was representing the buyer, I would want the buyer to make the choice because they're the ones who are going to use it. But that's still kind of a debatable <laughs> thing. So, well, <laughs> yes. So the, the conversation Joe and I have had before is he obviously, he and I have the relationship. So if something goes you know, awry or he, the homeowner hasn't received a phone call in a couple days, which is, you know, within the guidelines, he can reach out to me, Rebecca, I need help. Jump on. I need you to get this claim back on track. It's important that you have that relationship, which is why I'm here. Um, and so whenever he's with the seller, he will still want for my services to be provided. He's like, no, I know that they're going to get help. If the buyer needs any assistance, here's the information. This is Rebecca. And then he says, here's her brochure. Let's communicate with Rebecca on what will be best for your property. And so, again, she mentioned brochure. So at the end of this, if you are someone who's interested in, in getting one of those brochures, you can email me or uh, Rebecca, and we can send you the PDF copy of that. Mm -hmm. uh, I also wanted to point out that recently, uh, you and I were involved in a transaction where I sold the home closed in September, and then the, the buyer ended up putting the property back on the market. We had gotten the home warranty with you. And then when I listed it again, I was a little concerned as to who had the home warranty and it was you. And so you were able to track that down so that we could continue the policy on through the new sale to the new buyer. Yes. So even though it's for one full year, if you're only using a portion of the policy, we can take what is what is considered unused or prorated and we can apply that as a credit for the new person because we still want theirs to begin on day one for a year after that. And to be honest, I don't know if Rebecca knew this or not, but I had to fight for from for the realtor rep representing the buyer because she wanted to change the policy. And I told her, well, this is ridiculous. I mean, they already paid for, it's already paid for for a year. Why do we need to change it? It was a good policy. So again, sometimes we as real estate agents, we have mm -hmm. to fight, you know, not just because what's right for me, but also she got the business to begin with on the first transaction. Why shouldn't we continue to get that business throughout the new transaction? I love that you believe that. Well, <laughs> Some people were like, I couldn't fight hard enough and keep you. And Joe is like, oh no, you're gonna be on here, Rebecca. So I mm -hmm. love the loyalty. Um, honestly, just for some of you agents that might be watching that are learning from Joe, um, whether you give me one transaction or 50 or even 150 in one year, it doesn't matter. I'm here to help you. So Joe is loyal. Obviously, I'm here to assist him, support him, answer any questions. But I'm here also for you guys. So whatever you yeah. guys need, you get the same quality, uh, whether you fight as hard as you do like Joe does or if you're brand new and you don't know much. I'm a loyal person. I mm -hmm. I am very loyal yeah. to my the people I, I work with from the lenders to the home warranty uh, title. Yeah. I'm very loyal. I really, I really, I, I, I'm just loyal. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. What are we like used that. to describe you? Exactly. No, but that's, that's perfect. <laughs> right. Uh, and part of that is because I like consistency, right? I know, mm -hmm. I know the kind of service that I can get from the people that I work with consistently, right? Because we're building 
a relationship. Yeah. And when I need something because of that relationship, it'll be easier for me to get what I need taken care of. Yeah, I think one thing that Joe really likes, and it was part of the conversation we were having before, he says, hey, Rebecca, what's a service? Um, I know that they pay service fees. And then we got further into it. So a service fee is anytime you call someone to your home to look at the repair. They come out for the first visit as a diagnosis, and then they get you know authorizations, approvals, parts, and they come back for the repair. That's an $85 service fee. But the cool thing that I know Joe didn't know is how that works. So what's really cool about First American is we do things a little bit, I think a little bit different. Um, you have your first opinion, they come out and look. And let's say someone, what was it? A dishwasher panel wasn't lighting up. And of course what happens when we send someone out there, it works. You're like, it wasn't working, but it is today. So they're like, no, it's working. Well, we can always send someone back out there and say, can you please have a look at it? And they're like, okay, it does need help. Well, the second visit was a t different person. They got it fixed. And then within like 10 days, the panel turned off again, we could actually reopen the claim and have them back out there for another opportunity to complete the service. So we had a first opinion, a second opinion, and then we even reopened the claim and that was still under one service fee. So I know our home homeowners get a little nervous, like I don't wanna pay another service fee, I don't wanna keep paying out of pocket. No, you just take care yeah. of that first one. Yeah, because it gets expensive. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring something, I'm gonna interject something here for my own self, because I own a <laughs> condo and, and you have nothing to do with okay. this, because I've owned the condo for quite a long time and I don't have home <laughs> warranty on it anymore. And the reason why is when I bought the condo, which was, and I've had it now like maybe 10, 15 years now, mm -hmm. there was a, a AC unit, okay. okay? And it was a it was a foreclosure when I bought it. And so I had the home warranty and then it stopped working. And so I had somebody come out and they wouldn't fix it because they oh. said it, the maintenance of it. Mm -hmm. And that's the one, if I had an issue, Rebecca, mm -hmm. that's the one issue that I have is because can you talk about that? The maintenance Absolutely. of whatever. It's so um, maintenance is a really, really big deal. I've spoken to homeowners that have purchased their third and even fourth property. And they're like, I didn't know home warranty existed. Um, and then the one thing that I love that my agents get involved is their own marketing. They have a marketing portal. They get to print this thing called a maintenance guide. So when I got, you know, entered my first place on my own, no roommates, I had no idea what needed to be maintained. I didn't know that I had to look at my water heater, my heater, things like that, or even filters. Like, I don't think, when I think of a swimming pool, that's more logical. Like, okay, I gotta make sure the filter's clean, gotta make sure the pool person's there to clean it out every week. But there, beyond that, it's like, I don't know all that. So the really cool thing is, yes, it's the same thing. You have to maintain things. If I go out there to fix a pool, it's normal pumps. But if you're not cleaning the filter, that's definitely back on you. And it's, hey, we got to maintain this. This is just a simple responsibility of a homeowner, which a lot of the home has that. But with First American, we have what's called the maintenance guide. And so Joe can have those every month. They have his beautiful face in that bottom corner. And then he just gets to give them out to his new buyers. Or even if you're interested, like, hey, Joe, I want to make sure that I maintain my house. There's a lot of information in there that you wouldn't even think about. Like, oh, I make sure my AC filter's done. I make sure this is cleaned. I make sure that's done. But you're like, oh, wait, I never knew that I needed to maintain my dishwasher. A guy's dishwasher stopped working. There was a fork in it. So you're going to have to give me a list of that because I haven't seen one. Oh! And that's, you know, again, so I'll get it for here you. we go. Right? Yep. And that's, I think that's really important that we need to see what that maintenance list looks like. Yeah. All right, so what about the service people? How do you guys get the service people? Perfect. So we actually have a, spe a like a specific team. So we have sales, claims, we have managers up in the top, and then there's a specific category that works with all First American and overviews the contractors. Um, and so we, we try to make sure that every area has like a zone of dedicated contractors. And let's say if they're not available, we spread out the ring one more, maybe one more time. Um, and so we try to make sure that wherever you live, we have service people that can get to you in a reasonable amount of time. We have guidelines and we always, always push to make sure that they're within those guidelines. Um, and I know the question that you had was if they can't service, what's next? Um, and so we did have like, um, there was one, well, recently the rainy season was crazy. So as soon as the first dry day happens, that's when we can begin. Cause we'll never send out somebody on your roof and cause any like lawsuits or you know, injuries. So the first dry day is when we begin making appointments. Well, guess what? They got booked ASAP because of so many roof leaks. Um, at that point, 
then we would con communicate with you guys if we need to get someone outside to have service for you guys. Um, but typically we have a lot of people in our database where we can gather them and you know make sure that you guys are taken care of in a timely manner. Okay, that's good to know. So what about the additional services that, that we can add on? Like for example, I'm looking at your list here. So basically starting around additional refrigerator, mm -hmm. limited roof leak, but generally the roof is not covered though, right? It's not, you have to add it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, so um, people don't know that ornamental fountain, they just think it's like that dolphin in the front yard or the koi pond or something like that. It's in Long Beach, especially, we have so many nice swimming pools. It's any kind of separate water pump outside of what would be for right. the pool. So like a pool slide, a waterfall, things like that. And that's really important because I had a transaction once where there was a refrigerator outside in the patio mm -hmm. where the barbecue thing was. That was not covered under the normal. Mm -hmm. You had to add. Outdoor kitchen. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. So it's important to keep those kind of things in mind. And the other thing is sewage. People really get confused with that because remember she said from the inside of the house. So if you have a sewer problem and the sewer pipe is from the house to the main line, that's not covered, right? Not for the normal policy. So you add what's called plumbing plus. That's what extends coverage from within the foundation to outside the foundation. Um, it also extends coverage for slab leak. That's I think one of the most costly plumbing leaks that can happen. And so it elevates the slab leak coverage as well. So it's, it's plumbing plus. And that's a very expensive, if you have that kind of an issue, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So you wanna make sure, especially if you buy an older home, that there's never been any of the plumbing upgrades or anything like that, you definitely want to make sure that uh, absolutely that you have that added. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. So that's all I have. Is there anything else you want to share? <laughs> I mean, well, I just want to remind people that um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. The same cell number that Joe calls with questions, text messages, whatever it is, that's the same number you guys can have. So I'm just here to assist and in any way possible. Awesome. Thank you for coming today and Thank for you. being here. I love that he invited a Dominican for a coffee a coffee date. That was kind of cool. <laughs> I, I love did, coffee. I didn't know she was Dominican. So you're Dominican and Mexican. And Mexican. Mm -hmm. So you're which, which parent is from the... My father was Dominican. My mother's Mexican. So he's from the Dominican Republic. Yes. I've Lots of there. Spanish. Lots of Spanish. I've been there to the Dominican Republic. <gasps> okay, very cool. I went on a cruise once and we went to the... The beaches are absolutely beautiful. Have yes, they are. Yes, I've been, been there a few times. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. Yep. <laughs> so, all right. So that's it from us. If you have any questions, please be sure and either send us a message, text us, or by all means, I'm going to post this on YouTube. Be sure you go to YouTube and follow myself, Joe Mendez. Mm -hmm. Like it, subscribe, because every time that I post a video on YouTube, then you will get a bing <laughs> that I posted a video, and then you can go and follow me, because I'm, I'm doing this pretty regularly now. I'm posting on YouTube regularly, and then I will also feed them to the other social media platforms, which I'm on, which is, again, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, mm -hmm. LinkedIn. So, again, thank you, Rebecca, for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Have a great day, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye now.